Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And the session we will be discussing about isothermal titration calorimetry, that is ITC. This is a technique which is utilized for binding characterization. So let's get started and explore what is ITC and what are the relevant application of this technology. So let's first try to understand what is isothermal titration calorimetry. It's a technique used in scientific research to understand how molecules interact with each other. It measures the heat changes that occur when molecules bind together. Think of it like a molecular heat sensor. It allows scientists to determine how strong the interaction is between two molecules, like a protein and a small molecule. This information helps us to understand how specific and selective the binding is. ITC can also help us to study how enzymes work by measuring the heat changes during their reaction. This gives us the insight into how fast enzymes bind to their molecule and convert them into the product. Additionally, ITC can tell us how many small molecules bind to a protein molecule which help us to understand the binding process better. It also provides information about the energy changes, randomness and overall stability of these interactions. Moreover, ITC can be used to study how protein folds and remains stable. This helps us to understand the stability of the proteins. These are the five essential applications of ITC. It can be utilized for binding affinity measurement. You can utilize ITC to quantify the interaction strength between biomolecules. You can also utilize this to assess the binding specificity and selectivity. In enzyme kinetics, it can be utilized to measure the heat changes during enzymatic reaction. It can be utilized to determine the enzyme substrate interaction kinetic and also help us to calculate the KM and turnover number that is KCAT. Additionally, ITC can be utilized to analyze and study protein ligand geometry. It can help us to identify a number of ligand molecules binding to a particular protein. It can also be utilized to reveal cooperative or allosteric binding mechanism. ITC can also help us in thermodynamic characterization of biomolecular interaction. It helps us to provide the information about energy changes that is enthalpy. It can also help us to describe the randomness that is entropy of the interaction and determine overall stability that is free energy of a binding process. And finally, ITC can also be utilized in protein folding and stability studies. It can be utilized to analyze and investigate protein folding and stability, to monitor the heat changes during the folding and unfolding. And finally, it could be utilized to evaluate the energy requirement, intermediate state and stability. Overall, ITC is a useful tool that provides valuable information about kinetics, thermodynamics and stability of molecular interaction, helping scientists uncover the mysteries of how molecules behave and interact with each other. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor. Thank you.